Shane Leckler is hanging up his cleats after one of the best careers, maybe the best, of any punter in NFL history. Leckler, 42, played for the Raiders from 2000 to 12, making seven Pro Bowls and earning six first-team All-Pro selections. He played for the Texans from 2013 to 17, before not appearing in a game last season after the Texans released him before the 2018 season in favor of rookie Trevor Daniel. Leckler's 47.6 average yards per punt rank first in NFL history. A retirement party fit for a GOAT. The best punter ever. Last night was a testament to that, as family, friends. We'll do it all again when they put that gold jacket on him too. Pick that twitter.com slash 5 laps at gig, JJ Watt, at JJ Watt, March 30, 2019 The Raiders drafted Leckler with the 142nd overall pick in the fifth round of the 2000 draft, the same year they chose kicker Sebastian Janikowski in the first round. Leckler solidified his spot on the NFL's All-Decade team after punting 1,014 times for 48,215 yards 47.5 average in his Raiders career, which included two seasons playing for John Gruden and a Super Bowl appearance in 2003. Leckler landed 469 punts inside the 20-yard line, second most in NFL history behind Jeff Fiegel's 554, and bombed a career-long 80-yard punt in 2011 against the Bears that still stands as the longest punt in Raiders history. He also threw his lone touchdown pass in 2011 to tight end Kevin Boss from 35 yards out on a fake field goal attempt. Only one punter, Raiders legend Ray Guy, is enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Leckler will likely be the second when he becomes eligible.